software update is available and then here software update is available so let's go ahead and press that let's install now now we see the update here we also see the update right here okay software update in progress right there hopefully you can catch that and again in the UI right there it takes 25 minutes hopefully this will be very quick So now I went from 10% to 20%, but now it says, and hopefully you can, you guys can see that, from 10% to 20, now 20%, but now it says updating autopilot right now. So before it says update was starting at 10%, now it says updating autopilot. And it's doing its normal thing that it typically does when it updates the software, which is flashlights, weird sounds, different fans start to spin up depending on what it's doing. But it's interesting and it's giving you some lots of detail about what it's actually doing with each step of the install. At about 60%, it now changed from updating autopilot to now updating electronic control units. So nice little readout there. Again, 60% updating to 32.11. This is what it looks like, the new update screen for version 10. Car seems to be rebooting as this process happens. And we'll see how long it takes. The AC has gone off. The instrument cluster has also gone off. So the initial update, the instrument cluster, as it was starting, beginning to start, the instrument cluster stayed on while this screen became active, said 10%. After that 10%, it went to 20% and the screen turned off as it started to reboot, came back on, said update autopilot. Now it says updating electronic control units and now the whole car is dark except for this touch screen. Again, I'm in the car to be able to see this. When you get out of the car and close it, it's black. It goes dark like it normally does so you don't get to see any of this. So this is if you're updating the car and you're inside the car, you see this screen. Uh, of course, you can always monitor it from your phone and see it here as well. As we wait here for the software to continue updating, it's worth pointing out that it looks like Tesla is seeding its updates, meaning giving you a majority of the underlying functionality for an update like version 10 in incremental releases. And then the actual sort of switch over the cutover is a small Sort of flip of the switch if you will a small 20 to 25 minute update to get version 10 so any of the dot releases 32 dot something in terms of other than 10 uh, 2 2.2.1 2.1 etc those were the seeded updates for version 10 those are 50 minute 40 minute installs heavy lifting in terms of software and then now for the actual cutover which was initially 32.10 and depending on what car you have is 32.10 dot one dot two and then now a subsequent release for 32.11 again still at uh where are we at we're at 60 percent still waiting for it still at 60 percent uh lights are flashing cars flickering noises are being made in the car but we'll see what happens once it's complete all right finalizing update right now at 80%, you can get that 80%. Finalizing the update. More noises are being made, but it does say 80% here on the app. And then it says finalizing update here at 80%. So we'll see what happens. Cars also turn back on. Uh, summon or enhanced summon is uh, active again. So it says come to me climate is back on so I can stop sweating in the car and the car's primary functionality seems to be uh, restored obviously the touchscreen is still active and as they finalize the update so we'll see if it passes or see if it fails 
Now it looks like it's jumped back now to 40% and says still updating autopilot. So I'm not sure what happened. Something may have gone wrong with the update, but uh, it's jumped back to, to 40%. So it's 40% here. And this now says still updating autopilot. Initially, when I went to 80%, there was a message on the touch screen that said uh, software update needed. Uh, please contact Tesla service. So I'm not sure what happened or what went wrong, but it looks like the update or the car itself is trying to fix the install of the update by going back to a previous step and trying to install something. So we'll see what happens. All right, software updating to 2019.32.11, and now it's saying that it's rebooting now. So I guess it went and fixed that. It's also re reading that it's rebooting here on the uh, on the Tesla app. So let's see what happens. Hopefully it's a success. Hopefully I don't have to restart it or re-download it again. Instrument cluster is coming back. Flashed once. Still says rebooting here. Speakers have just come on. Everything is just rebooted. App still says rebooting. Instrument cluster is back on now. Main screen has come back on now with a message that says update complete, update completed, checking status. App still says software rebooting. I'm also noticing the green icon up here as well. Now it's asking me to update again. So I'm not sure what went wrong or, okay, maybe it switched. It switched now from, <laughs> it switched now from requesting a, a download update to now a version 10 release note. So I think it's complete. I think we indeed have the latest and greatest version. Let's check right here in the soft in the notes. And now we see checking for updates. And we also see the hash code for the latest and greatest, which is 2019.32.11. So that's the update process so far. Uh, it's pretty cool, pretty cool to see. Probably wouldn't sit through another one of these other than the demo for you guys. Um, other than that, uh, I'd probably just use it remotely from the app and check back in the car once the update is done. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if you've tested this out, if you noticed anything unique, anything different that I didn't show here in the video, and I'll catch you in the next video. Enjoy your day, enjoy your Tesla.